What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be talking about a video that was released by a YouTube channel called ABCs of Attraction. Basically what they did was they went around this college and they asked a bunch of Caucasian females and other ethnicities too, but mainly Caucasian females, um, a variety of questions. Mainly, do you think that Asians are interested in you? And the wide majority, if not all the responses, was something like, I don't know, or I have not been ever approached by one. Now, this is actually a very common thing. And I mean, there's actually quite a few videos on this topic on YouTube. Uh, recently, I watched one that had like 600,000 views. It was this uh, amazing Asian guy who was literally the most confident guy ever. Um, he went up to all these girls and he was just fooling around uh, on the streets. I think it was like a bar, outside a bar or something. And ultimately, um, you know, he got a lot of responses also that when he asked questions like that, that pretty much said, I've never been approached by an Asian. And I find this exceptionally, exceptionally lame and stupid and ridiculous. And the reason is because I feel like these Asian males are just uh, being so, so, so cowardly and, you know, lame. And I really think that um, uh, there's a small minority of people out there like myself and the other amazing Asians who are really confident people who are not scared to do this sort of thing. And um, I think it's it's not completely our fault, but at the same time, um, what really are you if you're just a puppet of your upbringing and your environment and surroundings? If you can't really you know, wake up from that and think for yourself and act on your own. Um, but a lot of, I do have to admit that a lot of it probably has to do with um, our cultural upbringing and uh, kind of how like we were conditioned, similar to how a dog is conditioned uh, to drool when he hears uh, like you making his food. Um, and we were probably conditioned a lot from our upbringing to be these sort of reserved, shy uh, sort of creatures. And for myself, I mean, I have changed dramatically in the last three years. Obviously, a lot of myself has remained the same. But um, in terms of being shy, I actually made a video called uh, Signs a Shy Guy Likes You. And that was just a few years ago. And um, I do have to say I am not shy in a lot of ways now. In certain ways, I'm still quite shy. But I'm always trying to break free of that. And being shy isn't always a bad thing honestly there's a lot of power to being an introvert there's actually a very uh, uh, very well-known book that's recently released called something like uh, the power of introverts which um, I've checked out and I will read eventually and yeah there's there's nothing wrong with introverts but I definitely feel like um, in a lot of areas it's often a lot more advantageous to be confident and just out there and um, I'm not gonna lie there there are instances where um, I wish I was more confident and I was more confident in my past uh, like when I was in a classroom in high school there's some classes where I had to be confident to get those participation points to get that in the class and I loved it because my personality shown people knew I was you know I was who I am and I was just straightforward but um, back to the point of this video um, this whole idea of, uh, you know, white girls and not just white girls, but Hispanic girls and um, all different races, uh, except Asians. And and they're all saying that, oh, I never get approached. I really don't know. It's not yes or no or maybe. They don't know at all if Asians are interested in them. And what made this interview video, which I'll post in the description, even more interesting was the fact that like a lot of them, um, they honestly were not like, no, I'm disgusted. They were just like, I don't know. I've never been approached, which is kind of sad in itself. And in addition to that, they actually asked 
quite a few Asian males if they are interested in white females in terms of attractability. And a lot, I, I would say all of them said yes out of the, you know, five to ten that they asked. All of them said yes. And it's, it's very interesting how that works. Um, again, uh, there's a lot of sort of things that were revealed um, about this from just watching a lot of videos. Um, in fact, this channel that this interview came from, ABCs of Attraction, um, uh, a lot of their focus is on actual um, Asian males um, and uh, helping them in the dating community. And one of the instructors, his name is JT Tran, um, he remarked on the issue and he said like through all my thousands of uh, experiences, he's found common trends such as um, a lot of Asian males are just not um, they've convinced themselves that there's no chance. It's not that they don't find these girls attractive. It's, it's simply the fact that they've sort of convinced themselves that there's no chance and they're just very shy and they just naturally have a lot of low self-esteem. Now, obviously, is this, is this true for every Asian? No, there's a lot of really amazing Asians. Some naturally born just really confident, others who had to develop it. But generally, I feel like it comes from, like, one could debate for years why this is. My theory is that um, uh, it's because of the parents' emphasis on school rather than other things like um, fashion or social status in high school. In fact, a lot of Asian parents may be like, you know, you can sacrifice that. What's most important are the grades. And that sort of feeds into this sort of low self-esteem thing because ultimately in high school, uh, even nowadays, it's not like the, the guy who gets the straight A's who's like revered and on top. It could be if that guy's also maybe very sociable, has a large social circle, dresses well, talks well, uh, and being handsome won't, won't hurt at all. Uh, but you get the idea. And another thing JT Tran remarked on was that um, another big thing he found was that... Um, a lot of white uh, or Caucasian or Hispanic or uh, black females, any, any ethnicity other than Asian, they've never been approached and because of that, Asians have a sort of uh, advantage in a way because uh, you're, you're one of the first to ever do so. And I've told this story before in my other videos. but. Ultimately, when I found like all this stuff out like a few years ago, I was like, oh my gosh, I have these superpowers now. I know all this stuff that I didn't know before, which was kind of ironic because I did the same thing when I Googled dating advice like a year before that. And I was like, oh my gosh, everyone's saying on these articles online that confidence is the key. So I, know, I now know this thing that no one else knows because no one else has bothered to Google this stuff. And then you know I went out and it's like it's not that simple, um, and you can't just up and be confident either. Um, and even when you are confident, it's not the only thing. But yeah, uh, again, I went out and now I was like, holy crap, I'm probably that one Asian to ever approach these girls. I'm, I'm probably like a, a, a superhero to all these people. Um, and you know, at the time, I knew I wasn't the best looking. You know quirky fashion and so forth and still I was like holy crap you know I'm probably the only one that approaches and um, they're gonna be completely surprised and I'm gonna have this whole advantage because all the other all the other Asian males are shooting themselves in the foot and um, I'm sick of it and I want to make a change and I want to be one of the first people out there um, to act as a role model because no one else is stepping up and ultimately what I found was it's not that easy either and it doesn't doesn't mean you're some goddess or god if you up and do it and here I was thinking oh I want to make a change because all the uh, hybrids that I know always have an Asian mom and a white dad and I want to change that because all the Asian males are, are, are two pussies the, the, the two big of a pussy and um, ultimately what I found was that okay sure um, you might you may get like some interesting reactions because you are an Asian male doing this but uh, like 
every ethnicity out there uh, generally like it all comes back down to like girls reacting the same uh, whatever the ethnicity is like um, there's a lot of other factors like and there's a lot of different types of people nerdy Asians nerdy white people uh, good-looking white people fashionable white people fashionable black people muscular Hispanic people and just being Asian and male in itself doesn't give you superpowers out there. So that was the first thing I realized. But, you know, regardless, I, you know, wherever I go, I feel like um, whenever I approach, I'm probably like the only Asian who male who's done it. And probably the only one that will have done it for a while. Now, is this always true? No, there's, there's some that I meet that have done it. You know, when I asked them about it, they're like, oh yeah, I've, you're nothing special. Uh, I've been approached plenty of times before. And, uh, you know, it's not like I've never seen Asian males do it either. Uh, and so applause to them, obviously. Um, but, yeah, you know, it's still, it's still something that I work to change because majority of the case, it is like this. And... Um, Unfortunately, uh, I have to be honest, it doesn't give you some like advantage, um, but you know, it is just something to work towards. Um, you know, some people say uh, being Asian um, is like the hardest race to get like a white girl or a black girl. Um, ultimately though, like I think a lot of these people who's constantly like talking about all this stuff and debating all this stuff, uh, they're, they're too dependent on the outcome. Um, it's like they're, they're too scared or concerned about rejection. Um, and when you think about like what is rejection? Is it, there's, is there really such thing as rejection? Honestly, it's it's all about how you look at it. Um, so what if a girl rejects you because she doesn't like you? At the same time, like um, there's like if if your goal is to get a girlfriend, then isn't everything a rejection? Um, let's say she's nice to you when you talk to her and sh she'll give you her phone number even um, at the if you look at it like that it's still a rejection because she didn't say like you, she wants to be your girlfriend and you never asked so ultimately all this stuff is just you know, playing around and I feel like um, it's a good mindset to come from like at the end of the day I'm just talking to girls and um, like whether you're rejected or not like being too outcome dependent like it's not really worth it because ultimately um i mean i i get a lot of enjoyment out of just talking to um attractive girls um and it's it's really great rather than all this other stuff of just like uh these guys who are just so hung up on uh getting that phone number on a slip of paper uh, that they can't even talk to a girl. It's like, well, if you can't keep a interaction going, what's the point in the phone number? Um, but yeah, uh, I just I just found it very interesting, and um, yeah, I I do have to say there's always exceptions. Even that thing with the hybrid, like um, I've met quite a few hybrids, um, and I'm not gonna lie, most of them when they're Asian or half Asian have white fathers and Asian mothers but at the same time a good 20 or 30 percent have had the opposite so it's not like you know like there's majorities minorities um, ultimately though you yourself are an individual and um, you a lot of people just don't you know, wake up and try and break away from the pack um ultimately though like you, you can if you want to and so it it's very interesting and that's really all i want to say about the topic um i think there should be something done about this i think a lot of these girls are just you know they have just not been in that scenario at the same time i feel like a lot of asian males for whatever reason, out of shyness or comfortabil comfortability, they sort of um, stick to the Asian crowd. They only talk to Asians. And uh, they only talk to a particular amount of people that are Asian. And they stick in the, into this like small crowd. And I find it obnoxious. And 
ultimately it's it's kind of like uh, you know they're shy they they like it's more comfortable for them and they never you know move out of it um but from all my experiences with that i found that at at the same time um it's all sort of the same because like e although i'm asian um there's a lot of people of the asian race that are all sorts of different people just like there are for white people and black people and everyone else who are who i all get along with like i personally hang around with every ethnicity uh, for instance there's you know uh asian people who are just really rude and disrespectful just like there are for black people hispanics so forth and nice asians and the mean ones and studious ones and s ones who like sports and ones who like video games it's the same for every race and i feel like although there is some sort of uh, comfortability to a certain extent with staying within your own culture to a point i think it it, it can get really just cut off and weird for instance um I'm Chinese, and there's this whole there's this whole group I met in uh, college, and they were Korean, and they only hung around other Koreans in this tight knit group of Korean Americans, and all their friends were Korean Americans, and sure they would talk to and you know be friendly to uh, all these other you know a variety of other rainbow colored ethnicities, but they would their close knit group was always Korean, and they would always hang around them. And even like the other Ch Asian people, like Chinese and stuff, they just wouldn't get along with. I don't really know what it was. You know, I extended myself to them, and they were they weren't weird people. They weren't like fresh off the boat Koreans. They were Korean Americans born and raised here. It was just you know like some mental block in their own head that you know prevented them from you know changing it. And it's it's this, this bizarre thing. Um, and it's like that for a lot of places in the United States as well. Um, uh, but at the same time, we are definitely moving towards a, a more progressive thing. You can see that when you compare the past few decades. Um, ultimately, I don't know where it will lead. And ultimately, you know, it's, it's something that I will always try and call to action. Um, but at the same time, it's something that uh, will change over time. And for me, myself, I'm going to do the best I can for myself um, and as as a whole movement as a whole population this may take a long time to change it may not change but for me myself as an individual I can change that as soon as possible and that's why I you know I talk to every ethnicity and I, I'm not really like uh, closed off to one ethnicity or or racist or anything like that um, and I guess finally, the biggest golden nugget you could get from this video is that um, um, I think, yeah, I, I've talked to many uh, females of many ethnicities and ultimately uh, what I found is um, generally it's, it's not like being Asian at the end of the day uh, will give you any huge benefit. Uh, in fact, it can provide some obstacles, but ultimately I found that um, it's something that's possible, like race and stuff can be looked over. You've seen it everywhere. There's multiple different ethnicities that have uh, gotten with another ethnicity. It's, it's possible and um, you just have to break through those obstacles and barriers and stop whining about the disadvantages or whatever's going on and i mean one could argue there's even a mental block for other ethnicities when they initially see you and they register that you're asian but um i would say generally i more or less um there's minor things but ultimately um people are the same people are people and you'll run into those races um I, I depicted that on my Omegli slash uh, chat roulette videos, at least on the internet, they, they're very racist, um, but in person, it's it's a different story, and um, ultimately, it's, it's just how the way the world works, so I hope you got the message, maybe we, these Asian males can start a movement and uh, stop being cowardly, even to Asian females, um, I don't know what it is, they just assume this feminine role, 
uh, this, this sort of lower, lesser male role, beta male role. Uh, that's got to change and I applaud all the Asian males who have changed like there are a lot of role model Asian males who are alpha male um, Like not necessarily Bruce Lee, but different types for instance Tokyo Drift Fa Fast and Furious 3 uh, The guys in there were legitimate Amazing people. That's all we want to say and thanks for watching